Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was a little bit too far. So yeah, another POV video. We are using the C63S AMG Edition 1 with 604 brake horsepower. Oh, what a weapon. I'm hoping this video is better than the first one I did with the Golf R. So, because we're shooting in the evening, you'll be able to see my screen better, which is obviously gonna be more beneficial for you so you can see what, actually what I'm doing, as well as I'll be saying it. All the edits will be thrown on the screen before and after, all edited using my presets on lewismorrismedia.com, so you can go cop some of those if you need to. Get the same sort of edits and style as me. Hope you enjoy the video. I'm gonna shut up, enjoy the AMG driving, and yeah, see you back afterwards. Spinning. Right guys, so we are in the C63S, don't forget that bit, AMG Edition 1. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, it's pretty sick. <laughs> like I said in the intro, we're gonna take this out, we're gonna go to a couple of locations, I'm gonna try and film as much as I can. Um, because it will be shooting an evening and darker setting, you'll be able to see my camera settings better, because in the first one that I did, it was in daytime. Um, and you couldn't really see the camera and everyone was like, you can't really see your settings, even though I've said it on the screen, so yeah. And we've got Molly mm -hmm. along with us. Mm -hmm. Do you want to explain to the audience who you are? This is girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> this is bitch! <laughs> <laughs> This thing's so sick. Yes. <laughs> right, let's get to the next uh, first spot. <laughs> right guys, so at the first spot, we've got the Sony A7 III with the brand new, well, brand new to me, I literally just got it like a couple of hours ago. Sony G Master 35mm 1.4, pretty sick. The only downside is I don't, I don't have my CPL filter, but it's a white car, the reflection should be okay. And yeah, let's play with it. So this is literally my first shoot ever on this lens. I already put the plate on. So the plate looks better on pictures, obviously. So we need to have the lights on, let's do that. So it'd be good for detail shots as well to get that light in. So yeah, we're gonna start on the front. So first couple of test shots, we're just gonna shoot at F2, one over 320 and ISO 250, just as a couple of first testers. So again, from every single angle, you want to cover front left, front, front right, side, etc. So I want to work your way all the way around the car because then you don't have to worry about doing that again. Different angles as well, high, low, medium, all the way down to the floor. Um, so we'll go for this spot. So we'll do a little bit lower. Not too low as that blocks out. We'll do really high as well. Nice and high. Well, I've missed 35mm. <laughs> so I just readjusted my white balance because it was a little bit too blue. Obviously it's in raw anyway, but still it's nice to have the color balance. Nice and set even when you're there. So a little bit lower. Now I'm gonna have to Photoshop out that lamppost, <laughs> obviously. To, to the other side. So I don't know if you can see, we'll probably move. Get out of the way, <laughs> jacket. <laughs> we'll probably move a bit higher where there's trees in the, in the background. Um, there's some cows over there, but I don't want them to come over just yet because I don't want them to lick the car and ruin it. So we'll start a little bit lower. We don't have much distractions in the foreground, which means we'll go a little bit lower. We'll go for medium height as well. Again, all these shots are at F2, just because I want most of the car in focus. So we'll move the plate to the rear. It just looks better. So always have the lights on, especially in the evening. If you're shooting a car with the lights off in the evening, you need to sort yourself out. <laughs> Cause that looks so sick. Oh, the cows are coming. <laughs> it's your job to shoot them off, you know, if they come. Yeah, you gotta shoot the cows off. You grew up on a farm. <laughs> Anyway, back to photography. <laughs> so my focal point, if you can see, is gonna be the rear headlight, obviously. That's the closest point to the camera, to the lens, so I'm gonna focus there. F F2, one over 320, and ISO 250. Don't be afraid to up your ISO on shots. It's there for a reason. I pretty much only always shoot in the, uh, at ISO 50, but again, Push it, I've took shots at four, ISO 4000, you can never tell. <laughs> so slightly higher, still, 
Oh, of course. Oh, they're running now. A <laughs> little bit lower as well. Oh, to be fair, I kind of want them in the shot. All right, so the cows are coming closer, so I'm actually going to get some shots. <laughs> this, look, this looks sick. <laughs> it looks like a big cow to them though, doesn't it? Should we get some cow shots? I want to get the pretty one. Look at this pretty one. <laughs> Don't you huff and puff at me, rude boy. Give you a slap. <laughs> so close. Put the cows in. Because they obviously they're obviously digging the uh, the AMG. <laughs> we'll get some detail shots quickly whilst they're stood there of the C63. <laughs> I just don't want them to lick the car like they did the did with the Porsche. So I'm gonna push it down to about 1.6. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. <laughs> he was like, what was that? <laughs> That's jokes. Good out, look at him strutting his stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what a stance, mate. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, this is the first POV video that's got um cows in that that I've done so far. Look how scared they all are. This lens is so crisp. Mad. So it's getting a bit darker now, so I'm gonna bump the ISO up to 1250. I know a lot of you people saying 1250, that's so high. No, it's not. <laughs> My Sony boy. So details of the exhaust. Little bits like the badges, AMG. Because it's 35mm, we can get pretty nice and tight up to the subject. <laughs> Cow whisperer over there. Picking out. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so next location. You've seen this spot before in my previous video. If you haven't, um, don't worry. <laughs> you can always go back and watch. So, because you've got leading lines that go all the way down the road, um, get pretty cool shots. We're not going to be at this spot for very long. So. We're at 1 over 6, no, 1 over 500, ISO 1250 and F1.6. Slightly low shots, a bit more aggressive. And stepping a bit more to the right and get a sort more of a side profile shot as well. So in the last video, I talked about continu continuous focus, but the screen was too bright. It's the third one down, and then with that, Wherever you hold that focus point, it's gonna it's gonna focus on. So if you want to focus on the floor, it will constantly focus until you're ready to take until you're ready to take your picture. So you have to hold it halfway down, hold the shutter halfway down. It will go green, and then wherever it's, wherever it's focusing, it will focus on. And then you can change the focus area, expand flexible spot. So you can use the little joystick up here, move it to any location. So if I want to shoot there, but I want to focus on the back wheel, I'll move that focus spot to the back wheel. If I want to focus on the front left headlight, which I will pretty much always do, I can move it there. That makes sense. I'm going to put the wheel straight for the rear shots, because for some reason, other photographers will get what I'm about to say, but when it comes to rear shots, when the wheel's out, it looks shit. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it only looks good from the front. As soon as you turn that wheel on a rear angled shot, it looks shit. So if you understand what I'm on about, comment down below. <laughs> For these rear shots, um, I'll just give Molly the camera and then she can like follow me around. This looks so sick. So my focus point is on the back right um, light and settings are 1 over 250, ISO 1000, F1.3. <laughs> the next couple of shots, I'm going to move more to the right of the car, so more over this way. And I can work with these lines, so because the lead, this line leads up to the car, um, I can get a really low shot where I've got the camera all the way down to the floor, just to experiment to see if it looks good. It might not look good, but it might at the same time. So obviously, I'll throw that on the screen. It might look good, it might come out all right, but it might look shit, who knows? <laughs> If you can see the yellow bollard, I, I went low enough that they weren't in my shot. So I'm going to take a shot 
with them in just to show how easy it is to have distractions in your shop. So if I literally was like this height, like I'm gonna throw the edit on the screen, but the bollards are in the way, and then you've got a mess about photoshopping. So just shoot a little bit lower and you'll get rid of it. So super easy. <laughs> Cool, next spot. Right, so we're at the next spot. As you can see, it was a lot darker than the last location because it's been maybe an hour or so. Because <laughs> we're shooting a lot darker, we're gonna shoot 1.4 and we're gonna slow the shutter speed down, which means we need to take our time with photos. So instead of just running a gun in and going nuts and fucking throwing them everywhere, slow down, take your shots nice and steady. And when you're holding down the shutter, Take about four pictures and just hold the camera as still as you can. So here I'm 1.4, one over 100 on the shutter, ISO 1000, Sony boy, don't worry about it. <laughs> Take a couple of shots. So this spot's quite good. I shot here before with a black BMW M3. I'll, if I find the picture, I'll throw it on the screen now. So that's what it looks like in the daytime. Um, so I've never shot here at night. So we'll get a couple of detailed shots around the car as well. Now it's a bit darker, the vibes will be a bit different. Ah, oh, the front plate. So we're gonna get a front detail shot on the headlight. With the headlight, you wanna, normally what I do is either bring the shutter speed up or the ISO down. So the light's more in focus. Like that. Couple of random shots. I really like the dark vibes on this one. So we're gonna do a top down shot. Oh, that looks good, even raw. Gee, that looks sick. So about AMG lights, it just looks so good. Um, because we've got the light coming from here, shining on this side of the car, we can get a rear shot as well. About three. One of them's going to be in focus. All right, so we flip the car around, get them rear shots. All the other spots, just make sure you get nice and low. Different heights, just experiment. Hold the camera as still as you can, especially when you're low in the shutter speed. We're going to do a nice top-down sort of shot, so a bit wider. Fingers as well with higher shots is you don't really see them that often, which is why they stand out, and I like to take different shots. So yeah, try it, see if it comes out all right. Take a few pictures. One of them should be in focus. <laughs> My focus point was the rear right light, and yeah, that looks good. Cool, I'm happy with that, let's move on. Right, so we're at the last location for the last photo. So we're just going to do a tripod shot. Low shutter speed, we're at 0.8. Let's do one second, actually. Yeah, we're gonna do one second on the shutter speed, f2.2 and ISO 50. We're just a basic front shot. We don't need to go crazy on this one. We've got a timer of two seconds. So once you press the shutter, there we go. It'll make a noise, take the photo, nice and sharp. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll throw the final photo on the screen, obviously, like I always do. Uh, but yeah, I just thought, cause it's a bit darker and these lights were meant to be brighter, but they wasn't, tripod shot. And yeah, that's it. So back to me in the, studio <laughs> all right so there you go that's the video hopefully you've watched it all the way to the end if you have thank you for watching so that's the first pov video i've done at night hopefully you enjoyed it i'm gonna do more as i've got more cars coming i do have one with the rs3 that i still need to do but it's kind of like a pov slash behind the scenes sort of thing um anyway there's gonna be more videos like this coming as we get more cars at work i will be taking them out and shooting them for some reason when i took the edits into premiere pro it makes the photos look a bit more bluer than they actually are which is a bit annoying but I couldn't be bothered to fix it, but yeah, they weren't, it's not, they're not as blue as it looks on the video, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling. So if you did find this video helpful, you can always drop a like, you can even drop a comment if you want to subscribe to the channel for more videos. And yeah, hopefully I've helped someone out today with this video in terms of just showing them what I do for an evening shoot. <laughs> Verdict on the Sony lens. The 35mm 1.4 G Master, sick. <laughs> I'll have to do a separate video like reviewing it even though i'm not really a review channel i should have spent the money on getting a new chair instead of a lens but i just can't help it i'm still using the i'm still using the sony 24 to 70 g master absolute beast can't be able to just kiss my lens on camera <laughs> uh yeah this thing's sick but it's definitely got its uses so yeah man anyway catch you in the next video yeah man safe see you later